afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stocks. Well, should I'm doing a video today of the market review of the SPY. Just wanted to take a look at this here and see how we closed. Well, no, actually it was Thursday because we are only open a partial day on Thursday. This was the, it was the 24th. So we closed on the 24th at 205.68. Definitely, definitely be interesting to see how we trade out this week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Only three and a half trading days left for the end of the calendar year. And we closed approximately like around the 205, 206 area on Thursday before the holiday. Really be interesting to see if the market can gap up on Monday, because I think that's what it needs to do to have some follow through higher here. If we do not gap up on Monday, then we may fall. We may open neutral and fall, or we could gap down, in which case if we do, I think we fall. So. It'll be really interesting to see how the market closes on the calendar year for 2015. All in all, the year ended up being as dramatic as I originally anticipated, meaning a lot of momentum and volatility. The year played out that way. I predicted that last December. However, I did not expect the anomaly day that happened in August. It was August 24th. So no one could have predicted this. It was an unforeseen event, but when that happened, it was a large gap down in the market where the market actually opened and swooshed and then negated the swoosh. I've never seen that in eight years of trading, but you will see things that you never see as you trade for a long time, and that's what happens. But no one could have predicted this, but when this happened, it kind of offset everything that I originally foresaw to happen in 2015 for the overall market. The SPY is an ETF. Uh, in, in the market and I look at it every morning and it gaps most every day and I trade gaps and I read the market direction based on gaps but I will tell you that the market's still actually in an uptrend it, it doesn't look like it to some people but it is however I don't know if we're gonna actually close the year with a rally or close the year bearish we opened the year find the day that we opened We opened the year at 206.38. So we'd have to close above that to even close with any gain on the year. But it wouldn't be substantial if it was just right at the number or slightly above it. it. It would be more substantial if we would close in this area here. Really like 210-ish, 209-210-ish. Could that happen in three and a half days? Yes, it could. Better if it happens and starts to get going on a rally with a gap up on Monday though, because if we don't gap up on Monday, I don't think we rally on Monday, and therefore then I'm not sure how we trade out and finish out the week in the year. So getting back to what I was saying, the year turned out the way that I thought and that there would be volatility and that it would be a good year to trade if you were a day trader, an active day trader, to train on the volatility and make money if you knew what to do. Now, if people that didn't know what to do had a hard year this year because this was unexpected and a lot of people couldn't read the market direction and people that trade stocks and day trade stocks based on what the market direction is probably had a tough year. But I trade my own method that's based on gaps. It has absolutely nothing to do with what the market's doing. So I had a good year. But if you were looking for directional bias in the market to trade in any given day, it was probably a tough trading year for you. I think that's one reason why I love trading my system on gaps and the 26 point rating system is because it really has nothing to do with the market. So you could trade in the morning, be out and done, and it doesn't matter what the market direction is for the day or in the long term trend. But as far as the overall close end of the year for the SPY, it will be interesting to see how we end up. And I will look at it probably not until next week. But we could go either way here on the close for the year. I don't have the 100% conviction we close bullish, bearish, or neutral. But the uptrend in the market is still intact. And that is not going to be broken before the end of the year. But I don't know how we close. Will it matter how we close in the year for taking us into 2016? Yeah, I think it will. I think it will. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. If you're interested in signing up for the stock market class to get my predictions for the calendar year for 2016, 
and all of the numbers, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.